And in this episode, I cut some chicken, I cut nothing, I put my hand in a bag, and I show you how to use a food saver. And welcome back to More Approved, I'm James. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to debone some chicken breast, which I picked up on sale from my local grocery store. I'm also gonna vacuum seal them and then freeze them for later use. So let's get right into this. I picked this chicken up from my local grocery store for 77 cents a pound. It's skin on and bone in with rib meat. Pull the skin off. This is where the wing bone was, so I'm actually gonna make an incision right through there, and then I'm going to take and cut down and out. So I'm just gonna follow the surface of that, down and out, with the tip of my knife pointed down towards the board. Now, right here on this seam, this is where the rib and the chicken breast meets. So we're gonna go ahead, and at a downward motion, just sort of come over, and then start separating that out. So if we turn this over, you can see that we're just trying to free up this section now. I'll do it from this angle. So we're gonna come through and push towards this section of the chicken all the way until you hit the cutting board. Now at this point, it's as simple as taking and freeing this section of silver skin in the bottom of the keel bone from the chicken breast itself. Pop all the way through and I'm gonna try not to get in the way of this. And then in an upward motion, just sort of make your way out. Now that that's free, all you have to do is free this section up. So you're gonna go in, do the same thing, push your knife through, and then with a swift cut, still pushing upwards with your knife blade, just sort of make your way on out. And that's it. Your chicken breast is now de-skinned and it is free of all the bones. Another thing I like to do when I have chicken breasts, I like to take and split these in half. It makes it more consistent and even to cook. And it also doubles what you have available if you have guests. So with a firm motion down, insert your knife, work it all the way into the tip and then pull it out. Now you have two chicken breasts. To get started, all you need is a vacuum sealer. You can use pretty much any brand. I have a food saver. I've had this for about eight years, and I have really vacuum packaged a lot of stuff with it. Pull out a generous length of your sealing material. Line up the edges of the bag with the sealing strip. Close it down, lock it, and then select seal. When it's done, the light on your food system will probably go out and you'll hear a little bit of a click as it's turning off the heating element. At that point, you'll go ahead and remove it. Ensure that you have a firm seal on it, and I usually like to double seal, so I'm gonna put it in one more time. Before you start vacuum packaging anything, make sure you label and date every single bag. If you wait until after you've gone ahead and vacuum packaged everything, your permanent marker may not write on the surface. Open up the top of your bag, the unsealed side, and fold it down a good portion because you don't want the raw juices of the chicken or whatever you're sealing to get on the outside of the bag. And then you wanna evenly position your materials on the inside. You'll repeat that stage of the process for whatever you have to do, then you'll wash your hands and then start sealing. Then all you have to do is fold the edges of the bag back out, put the opening of the bag into the trough of your vacuum packaging system, close the lid, secure it, make the appropriate settings for what you're vacuum packaging, and hit start. I'm gonna take and repeat the same process that I did when I was sealing the bottom of the bag. I'm gonna move the bag up. I'm gonna close the top, secure it, and then seal it one more time to make sure that package doesn't come loose. And that wraps up this episode of More Approved. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm James. Till next time, see you then.